Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be showcasing the energy and electricity portion of the space plugin by Ali Z4. We got things bunched up into three different categories, power generation, oxygen generation, and machines that use energy or oxygen. So here we have the power generation category. We got everything organized nice and neatly. We have wires which are used to direct power from energy generating machines to machines that use energy and we have the solar panel and we have the coal generator so we can go ahead and place these items now we got the solar generator and based on the time of day it will actually increase its energy output in different amounts so right now it's at 10 j per second and as you guys can see the energy is rising as soon as we placed one down uh, placing uh, them adjacently doesn't really uh, change that amount of power output or anything like that. Here we have the coal generator and on its own it doesn't produce any energy unless you have coal or charcoal. So if we just go ahead and place a few it consumes all the coal rather rapidly and as you guys can see it is now at 6,000 out of 8,000 capacity. We could go ahead and use wires to go ahead and bridge these together um, for the future for when we start using machines that require it. Next up when it comes to power generation, we have nuclear reactor, which this one is actually quite a bit of fun. We actually need a hazmat suit on. You need a hazmat suit just like in real life when you're messing around with radioactive things if you don't have one you will literally die so we have the nuclear reactor we have uranium dust and we have the coolant cell we'll also grab the tesseract for later so here we can go ahead and place our nuclear reactor it actually has looks really nice with the space resource pack i gotta say we got a spot to insert our coolant cells and we got a spot to input our uranium dust and once that's done, you can see the nuclear reactor is at work. The coolant cells get drained over time while the energy is currently at max output. It used up um, quite a bit of uranium dust and a good amount of coolant cells as well. And it'll keep operating until the coolant cells or the uranium dust runs out, in which case it'll just stop um, outputting. And last but not least, we got the Tesseract from the famous Marvel Universe. This one's more of a creative item. It pretty much comes with infinite oxygen and infinite energy. This would be good if you're using this sort of item in your server's hub or something like that for your space world. One other interesting fact about the coal generator is if you place a chest next to it, and fill it up with coal, you can see it automatically takes coal and uses it to fill up the energy in the coal generator. So that way you can sort of passively um, use the energy and still get coal without you having to manually refill it. Next up we got some oxygen generating items. So we got pipes, oxygen collector and oak leaves. Now this is actually really cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and connect our wires all the way to even include the nuclear reactor here. We're not gonna include the tesseract uh, just for illustration purposes. So we go ahead and hook up the oxygen collector and as you guys can see it's not collecting oxygen right now. It is accumulating energy but there are not enough leaves for the energy to function. So the oxygen generator actually gets its oxygen from leaves placed around it. So if you look in here, the efficiency it's running at is at 47% efficiency. We place some more leaves right here. And we go ahead and look back in it. It's actually running at 100% efficiency. So the amount of leaves surrounding it affects the efficiency of it. And the energy is still going up with our nuclear reactor plugged in now. And the oxygen is just flying up there. All right, now we can use these machines in action. Here we got our artificial gravity generator, our bubble distributor, our tank refiller, and our heavy oxygen tank. 
So we could go ahead and start out with our oxygen bubble distributor. And this is what allows your users to breathe in space. So we could go ahead and connect this via pipes. Pipes here. And we can go ahead and set the bubble distributor here. And then we gotta connect the wires over here. And boom, it's connected on both sides. And as you guys can see, you guys can see a little bit of bubble effects appearing within an eight block radius of this nice machine. So the oxygen is starting to go up and the energy is going up as well because we have both of these set up properly. So that is awesome. Next up, we got the artificial gravity generator. This one only requires power no oxygen required so if we go ahead and place this bad boy here this will actually simulate normal gravity in your space world within an eight block radius similar to the bubbler and as we look in here you can just see the energy is going up at a nice uh, rate and last item we have here is the tank refiller and we got a heavy oxygen tank that's used up a little bit of oxygen so what we can go ahead and do here is we can go take some more pipe and go ahead and put our tank refiller here. All right, now if we were to access our tank refiller, it is just about full on oxygen and full on energy. And if we put in our oxygen tank in, as you guys can see, it starts going up to 50%. That's the capacity of the light oxygen tank. So it's already filled up. And the oxygen, because we still got pipes connecting to it, uh, is going up on the tank refiller as well. Last function that we have is actually the wrench tool, which is actually super cool. So if you were to right click with the wrench on the pipe, it gives you the total um, output of oxygen for that specific system. And same with right clicking on a wire, it gives you this specific amount of energy for that system. One other really cool thing is if you break a machine with it, it actually will now retain its oxygen and energy where otherwise it won't. So if we were to go ahead and place this again, the oxygen and the energy is where it was when we broke it really cool stuff but yeah that is actually going to cover the energy and electricity machine component of the space plugin i'll leave a link to download this plugin down in the description below along with my server ip barbercraft thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you guys later peace